Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally doing a November wrap up. This month I actually read four books and I know that's a lot for me, but I actually have been reading some of these books for the past few months and I finally got to finish reading them. Some of them I did actually read this month. If you guys want to know what I read this month, then keep on watching. So one of the books that I read this month is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This is a young adult psychological thriller. I actually just read it yesterday in one day and I'm very surprised because I don't usually read books in one day. But this one was actually very interesting from the beginning. So that's why I was able to read it in one day. Um, it has to do with these four cousins, well, three cousins and a family friend who spend their time at, at their family island in Missouri, Michigan, somewhere over there. Um, but it's a family estate and basically they just live their whole summer there. Massachusetts, that's what it's called. It's a private island in the coast of Massachusetts. And it's the estate for the St. Clair's family and they're very well known but they're very mysterious. Um, and the point of view is Cadence, I think that's how you say her name. But she is the one telling the story and it's very interesting. She tells the story from when they were 8 years old up to the point where they were 17. And there's a lot of, you know, family drama going on and, and very interesting and mysterious things. There also is a romance in this book. You know, they're like teenagers and stuff, so it's a very cute romance. So yeah, if this interests you, I'll have a link to it down below. The second book that I read this month is Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. This is the first book that I've ever read by her and let me just say that I am definitely going to go back to Barnes & Noble and pick up more books by her because... I love her writing style, it was so captivating and I got hooked from the very beginning because um, it's a young adult, well it's an adult mystery thriller kind of book, uh, the point of view is the mom and this is not a spoiler but basically it's about her daughter. The point of view is Laurel, basically that is the mom of Ellie who just happens to disappear um, out of nowhere and no one can figure out how she disappeared, where she disappeared to or what the heck happened to her. Um, it's very interesting because it tells you story like day by day of like things that are happening and there is some parts where it's Ellie's point of view so she'll tell you like her teenage drama and stuff. It's not really drama but like her teenage life and stuff um, with her boyfriend and like her taking her getting a math tutor and all that kind of stuff but basically the mom is the one who can't move on with her life because she doesn't have closure in knowing what actually happened to Ellie and the police just keep saying that she ran away even though it's not true um but yeah it's a very interesting story it's something that you need to go in not really knowing much about it just because it's obvious um from the beginning what happens or at least you have an idea like you get all these ideas of like oh my god what happened to Ellie this could have happened that could have happened but it's a really good story I actually got the recommendation from TikTok so I would highly pick this one up if you guys are interested in thriller or mystery books. This is a fast read also, so you could definitely read this in one day. It's a very nice cleansing palette. So yeah. The third book that I read this month is If I Never Met You by Myrie McFarlane. <laughs> this book. I had a problem with this book. This is an adult romance novel. But for me, it was very, very difficult to get into the story. Um, I'm more of a fan of young adult romance books just because, I don't know, I find that, not that I relate more to young adult novels, it's more that I could picture myself being like, oh my god, my friend used to do that, or I used to do that, I remember when we used to do this, this, and that, whether, while the adult ones, I'm just like, I'm not at that point yet, <laughs> so I can't really picture myself, you know, doing what they do, basically, um, it is a very interesting story. It is it is a fake dating trope, so if you're into that kind of storytelling, then you would definitely like this one. Um, it was kind of slow for me. I felt like it was a slow-paced book. I think that's also why. The writing to me was not... I didn't like the writing style. It was in my cup of tea, okay? <laughs> it's basically about an adult named Lori. A 34-year-old adult? 35-year-old? Around there adult named Lori she um had a partner for like 18 years and you know they were high school sweethearts and 
their lawyers and she wanted to have kids he didn't he didn't see that way and he becomes emotionally involved with someone else and he ends up getting that person pregnant and so basically what she tries to do to cope with that and move on she starts dating jamie carter who is the heartthrob of the place that they work and he's that bad boy that's how they kind of make him seem like the bad boy type of character but um it's interesting you get to see how she evolves and how she grows without her ex and things that she realizes that she could have done that she wasn't able to before if that makes sense but yeah it wasn't my cup of tea i'm not a big fan of it it took me literally maybe like five months to read this book and i finally like just one day picked it up and just completely finished it i did not like the ending it's obvious like what the ending's going to be so it's just not it's not the best book that i've read this month or this year in general but if you like romance books pick this one up the last book that i read this month is get a life chloe brown by talia hibbert now i have the first and the second book and this one also took me about three months to finish and i just like the last one i decided one day to pick it up and i finally finished reading it <sighs> let me tell you so this is a contemporary romance novel i actually enjoyed this one a lot better than if i never met you i took a while to read this one just because it was a book that i didn't want to finish reading just because it has a lot of sexy scenes and a lot of spicy and very heated moments which i wish were there were more of it red let me just say is like so far the best character this year he just sounds so freaking hot and i want to i want to know what he would look like in real life because he has tattoos and he's like you know another bad boy type of character even though he's not very much of a bad boy <laughs> it's about a character named chloe brown who is chronically ill and she finally gets to live on her own her family finally you know even though they're still on her but she finally gets to live her life and she lives on a daily basis of like whether she wakes up perfectly fine or you know she's in pain for the whole day so there is also this character named red who happens to be the handyman of the place that she lives has a list that she wants to do because there's things that she can't do because of her chronic illness and he helps her with that list there are very funny moments and like i said there are very hot and steamy moments that are very enjoyable and yeah it's a very interesting book because red is not the type of people who likes wealthy people and she's very wealthy she has a background that is comes from wealth so it's interesting to see how they get to learn about each other and their background and i like it because it's an interracial relationship um so that's a plus yeah i know a lot of people didn't enjoy it there is some moments where i found boring but it was all made up because of that steamy and hot sexy time okay <laughs> so those were all the books that i read this month i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye